For your mercy never fails me All my days have been held in your hands From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God All my life you have been faithful And all my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able Oh, I will see of the goodness of God I love your voice You have led me through the fire In darkest night You are close like no other I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend And I have lived in the goodness of God and all my life you have been faithful and all my life you have been so so good with every breath that I am able oh I will see of the goodness of God I love you Lord for your mercy never fails me all my days you have been held in your hands the moment that I wake up Till I lay my head, how oh, I will see of the goodness of God. And all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, oh, I will see of the goodness of God. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire in darkest night. You are close like no other I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend And I have lived in the goodness of God And all my life you have been faithful All my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able Oh, I will see of the goodness of God Father, this day, this hour, this minute I want to thank you because you have gathered us again you have gathered us today with a purpose and the purpose of Christ 
is to stand in the gap for this nation and the people in the nation and the body of Christ and the government of Kenya. I want to thank you because your word says in Ezekiel chapter 22 verse 30 that I sought for a man to build a hedge and stand in the gap, but I found none and I wanted to destroy the nation. But because we are here today, Lord, you will not destroy the nation. You will not destroy the righteous. You will not allow the wicked to triumph over and against the righteous. You will not allow the bull with the two horns, the bull with the three horns to succeed and to win this battle because it is won in the spiritual realm. You will not allow any man to stand against the nation of Kenya to destroy that which the nation has built, to destroy that which the people have labored and they have raised in their lives. Father God, you will not allow the queen of the heavens, you will not allow the three-horned dragon, you will not allow the two-horned bull to destroy the nation of Kenya, to shed blood. You are going to stand strong because we are here to defend the nation of Kenya and to surround it with the grace this morning and this day. Father God, I pray that you are going to hear our prayers and you are going to answer in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. How are you, my good people? This is family. I always call you family because you are following me and this is family praise the name of the lord i want to appreciate you that i've been praying together with apostle damaris i want to appreciate you that you have been saying woman of god we are in it together i am holding your right hand i am holding your left hand and we have built a circle that there will be no space there will be no broken hedge that the nation of kenya shall stand the Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verses 8, the Bible says it very clear that he who digs a pit shall enter in that pit. And when the wall is broken, the serpent shall bite. We as warriors, we are ready to defend the nation of Kenya in prayers. Our battles are won in our knees, on our knees and in the spirit realm. We do not have physical weapons, but we have spiritual weapons that cannot be seen by any man unless you enter into the spiritual realm. And today I want us to enter into the spirit realm and I want us to silence every voice that is speaking against the nation of Kenya. Every voice that had declared itself to stand and fight, to stand and speak against the work of God against what God is doing in this nation in the name of Jesus. I am so grateful because you pray for me, my family, and my assignment in this nation. I am born again, and I'm confessing that Jesus is Lord. Use the number on the screen to call me. Many of you have called me, and they have told me what God is speaking to them, and I have gone on my knees, and I have fought those battles, and that is what we call networking and God is going to bless you. 0746-553-997. I'll repeat it again because I'll repeat it because many people are saying I'm doing it very fast. 0746-553-996. Please call me and I'll be very grateful. Use it also to be a blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you are asking, woman of God, how can we partner with you? I want you to go to M-Pesa pay bill number and I want you to do 400, that is the pay bill number, 222. And my account number is 173 uh, hash. Don't forget to do hash and God is going to bless you. We are going to silence the voice that is speaking against the nation of Kenya. And this is the work of the dragon. 
This is already in the spirit realm. He is, the dragon is down. But we are going to fight until we see the success in Jesus' name. I want us to go to the word of God in Psalms chapter 143. Psalms 143. We are going to tell the Lord to silence the voice of the accuser, the voice of our enemies. Psalms 143 and verses 5 and 6. Hallelujah. Psalms 143. Hope I am doing it well. And verses 12. The Bible says, 143 and verses 12. Quicken me, O Lord, for your sake, namesake, for your righteousness sake, bring my soul out of trouble. Number one, quicken me, O Lord, for your namesake, for your righteousness sake, bring my soul out of trouble. And of your mercy, cut off my enemies and destroy all them that afflict my soul. For I am your servant. We are going to tell the Lord to silence the voice of the enemy. To silence the voice of the enemy. You can also go to Psalms chapter, chapter 142. You can also go to Psalms 142. It will also help you to pray this prayer. But first of all, I want to ask the Lord today in verses 11 and verses 12. Quicken me. In other words, revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake, for your righteousness' sake. Bring my soul out of trouble. God to deliver the souls of Kenyans out of the troubles of the dragon, out of the troubles of the three-horned enemy, two-horned bull. Amen. And of your mercy, cut off my enemies. Let them be cut off, those that want to cut off the souls of the righteous in this nation. And destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Glory be to God. We are going to deal with it and we are going to pray. To pray. Today we are dealing with it differently because we are going to silence the voice of the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God. I am standing with your word together with my family, the warriors. In Psalms 143 and verses 11 and 12. Quicken me, O Lord, for your name's sake. Revive us. Revive the nation. Revive the warriors. Revive us, O God. Revive us for your sake. For your righteousness' sake. Bring our souls out of trouble. Bring the souls of the nation of Kenya out of trouble. Bring the plague of Kenya out of trouble. Bring the people of Kenya out of trouble. And of your mercy, cut off the enemies of the flag of the nation of Kenya and destroy all of them that afflict our souls, that afflict the flag of Kenya, that afflict the soul of the nation of Kenya. For I am your servant. Mandala Beshia Pura Paria, Telebo Shanda Labezi, Mande de Bosia Tai Badia, Rente Lipa La Posa, Shende de Besi Palapari, Tai Batia Batia Batia, Pere Peria Panto Posa, Rente Prozia Tai Badia, Jende Le Besi Paraparia, Rente Le Posha Palapadia, Zente Pro Shalabadia. My Father, my God, I pray this hour after the order of your word in the book of Psalms 143 and verses 11 and 12. Quicken or revive me, O Lord. Quicken and revive the nation of Kenya. Quicken and revive the warriors in this nation, O Lord. Quicken and revive the Kenya, the Church of Christ in the nation of Kenya, O Lord. For your name's sake, not for any man's sake, for your name's sake, for your righteousness' sake. Bring our souls, bring the soul of the flag of Kenya out of trouble. Shada la bada, zende lebedia, banda la badua, zente lebedi, and your masses, mare katabota. Let your masses reign in this nation. Cut off my enemies. Cut off the enemies of the flag of the nation of Kenya. 
Cut off the enemies of our lives. Reko toko bakada. Zete rebo shita labedia. And destroy all of them that afflict our souls. That afflict the soul of the government. That afflict the soul of the body of Christ. That afflict the souls of the Kenyan. Maka toko to I am your servant. I have the seal of your servant. Marabada. Zende rebedia. Shanda rabadua. Zende rebede. Bande rebede. Zande rebede. Zande rebede. Bande rebedia. In Jesus' name. I want us to go to Psalms chapter 8 and verses 2. Psalms chapter 8 and verse 2. The Bible says, Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings have you ordained strength because of your enemies that you might steal the enemy that that uh, that you might steal steal s t i double l the enemy and the avenger that we may silence the enemy and the avenger that is what the bible is telling us that out of the mouth of babes and suckling have you ordained strength because of your enemies listen we do not have physical strength but our god is going to use us God is going to use the warriors in their weaknesses, in their strength, to ordain strength from above to silence the voice of the enemy of this nation and not only to silence. The Bible says that you are enemies, that you might steer the enemy and the avenger, that you might silence, that you may quieten the enemies. Go to quieten them. God to disarm them. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's go to the book of Matthew. Let's go to the book of Matthew. We are going to tell the Lord, ordain the warriors. Ordain the warriors. That even when you are sleeping like this, you are sleeping, God will use your spirit to fight. You cannot fight a spirit when you are not a spirit. These people have power. So you have, be, you have to be ordained for you. To fight these powers. Remember last time we said that we are gods. Amen. Pharaoh, you cannot fight Pharaoh without you being ordained as a god. Matthew chapter 22. Matthew chapter 22 and verses 34. Chapter 22 verses 34 to 35. Glory be to God. This is what my Bible says. 34, 35. But when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the, the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. <laughs> that when God will silence our enemies, my friend, we shall gather together. The, let me tell you, there will be witnesses. And the Bible says, then one of them which was a lawyer asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master, which is that great commandment in the law? Verses 37. Jesus said to him, You shall love your Lord, your God, with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. That is the first commandment. That you shall love your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Loving God is fighting his battles. Loving God is silencing his enemies. Loving God is fighting his enemies and doing his will against his enemies. We are going to tell the Lord, Father, ordain us this day. Ordain us. Give us weapons, spiritual weapons. Give us a voice in the spirit realm that we are going to silence the enemy with the two horns and three horns in this nation. In Jesus' name. My Father, my God. Zanda labo shalabada. This is a battle I have fought my father. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 8 and verses 2, Out of the mouth of babes and suckling have you ordained strength out of those that are innocent, out of those that are weak, out of those that have no strength, they have no name, they have no fame, they are not my father. The Bible says, out of them, out of their mouth, you have ordained strength because of your enemy, that you might steal, that you might silence, that you might quieten the enemies 
and the avenger. Reko takatabeshia, mantelebesia bantobodia. Who are we warriors? We are not even acknowledged. We do not even have a fame. But in the spiritual realm, we have fame. We are famous in the spirit realm. Our enemies know us by name. Our enemies know us by faces. I am asking you to ordain us with the new strength, to bring down the dragon in this nation, to bring down the three-horned enemy, to bring down the two-horned enemy, Mandala Besa Kadua, Repo Zoto Lobuda, Shandala Besa Kadua, Reke Teke Bakuta Labadoa, Reke Teke Bakadua Palia, Zente Leposhia Pante Pezia, Rendo Lobusha Gadia, the Bible says, O oh God, in First Samuel chapter 17, when David appeared and was fighting with the Goliath, the Bible says in First Samuel, Rendele Besalabadia, chapter 17, and verses 45, Retolobo Zadaba. Then say David to Philistine, you come to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defiled. Remba Zoto Lobuda, Reke Teke Bekedia, and Apostle, De, Apostle Damare say to the enemy, with the three horns, with the two horns, that you come to the church, you come to the nation of Kenya, you come to me with a sword, you come to me with a spear, you come to me with accidents and incidents, you come to me with evil words, you come to me with other gods, but I come to you in the name of our God, the God of the host of heaven, the God of the army of Israel, whom you have defiled. Maka toko baka, reke teke bakadua, reke teke bakadua, reprobanda labadia. Verses 46, the Bible says, Then this day, this day will the Lord deliver into my hand, and I will smite you and take your head from you, and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day to the force of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is God in Kenya. Reko Talabada, Zentelebedia Badua. I am doing God's will. I am doing God's purpose. Fighting the battles of God. Fighting the enemies of the Most High God. That is my assignment. Malabosha to raise warriors that are going to fight the battles of God. Rita Lita Labadua, Zentele Boshia Bante Bedia. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to do the final prayer. We are going to go to the book of Luke chapter 10, verse 19. I think I'm going to read them. I don't know. Because I needed also to deal with the road. We are going to break it. Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Let us hear what the book of Luke is saying. Chapter 10 verse 19. We are here to fight and to win battles. Verses 19. Luke 10 verses 19. Behold I give to you power to tread on serpents and scorpions. Hmm. This one is real life. And to trend uh -huh, on serpents and scorpions, scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing by, shall by any means hurt you. Nothing by any means. I have seen them send serpents. What have I not seen with my eyes? Physical. What have I not seen with my eyes? Spiritually. And it has not harmed me. God has given me victory. Acts chapter 2 and verses 34 and 35 because we are going to break the bow we are going to break i don't know god will grace me 40 uh, 35 chapter 2 psalms chapter 2 verses 34 35 for david is not ascended unto the heavens but he saith himself the lord say to my lord sit you on my right hand psalms 110 verse 1 you are going to read it it is still speaking like that my editor is going to put it there, Psalms 110 and verses 1. The Bible says, sit you on my right hand until I make your foes, you, 
until I make your enemies your footstool. Yes, until I make your enemies. In other words, your enemies should be under your feet. Amen. Until I make your enemies, until I make the three horned enemies, two horned enemies in this nation, they know what I'm saying. Amen. I don't want to show you with the signs because I don't want you to use my fingers and say I'm, I'm in that group. And the Bible says, until I make them. You know, you are footstool. Amen. We are going to tell the Lord to put them under our feet. Amen. Next time I'll deal with the rod. Glory be to God. We are going to tell the Lord, put the three-horned enemy. Put the two-horned enemy. They know what I'm saying. Under our feet in the name of Jesus. My father, my father, mighty defender of Israel, rendo boshanda la besa katua, repropoza kadipra ziada, shende rebesi abante bedia, manda la bosha la bente lebedi, rente lebesha padua. The Bible says that you have given us power, maka toka, against the serpents, against powers of the enemy, that they shall not harm us in any way. And you have said that you have put us somewhere that our enemies shall be under our footsteps. They shall be under our feet. They shall be under our feet. Mala kota la beta. Put the enemies under our feet. Reko toko bakadia. Put the enemies in this nation under my feet. Under my feet. Under my feet. You have said that I see. And I see you bring my enemies under my feet. Repo zanda la bosha, reke teke bakadua, rimbro santa la badia, riproposa kadoa, put them under my feet, put them under the feet of my warriors, put them under the feet of the body of Christ, rende le besi abanto bosha, in Jesus name. Please this week, the scriptures that I've given to you, continue using them every day, that is what I do. Before I bring prayers here, I've dealt with them. Amen. Because you cannot deal with them in two minutes. Some of these things, like the three-horned, the two-horned are bulls. I've dealt with it with hours, 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 and not alone, hours. Amen. My father, Pastor Johnson Suleiman, is coming to Kenya. And the body of Christ, the pastors in this nation, the fathers of this nation, have gathered the fathers of this nation have gathered we have ministers like bishop pius muiro we have lucy wangonjiri we have uh, morris olo we have oracle my father oracle francis mwangi you know and my mother uh, uh, oracle also dr pauline we have so many of them and of course myself and the sop kenya and we have prophetess monica we have many of them, Mark, Bishop Margaret Wanjiro. We have the fathers, Bishop Getonga, Bishop Makarioki, Apostle Nganga. All these pastors have gathered. Glory be to God. I cannot mention all of them. There are more than a thousands of them that have said that we need Apostle Johnson Suleiman. And we are going to host him. Amen. The pictures will pass by there. You will see all those people by the masses of God. Please. Come to Nyayo Stadium. Come to Nyayo Stadium on 15th, 16th, and 17th. This is where my father, my father, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, will be ministering. Bring the blind, bring the lame, bring the sick, bring the possessed, bring even the dead. Bring them, bring them, and God is going to bless you. Support the meeting, be a blessing, and please come there. We meet there, and God is going to bless you in Jesus' name. Call me through this number 0746-553-997. Amen. And please send your offering, send your seed, and tell God to bless you. Use my account number that is pay bill number 400-222. And my, pay, and my account number 173-9983. Hush. You call me and God is going to bless you. Always remember that where there is a prophet, there is a testimony. And by the hand of Apostle Damaris, signs and wonders and miracles are your portion today. God bless you. Father, we thank you for the nation of Kenya. 
keep our nation safe, keep the Kenyans safe, and as we welcome my father, Pastor Johnson Suleiman, OFM and SOP Kenya, and the pastors in this nation, and the Kenyans themselves, and the singers themselves, the great musicians you have given to us, may your peace rest upon this nation in Jesus' name. God bless you. I love you in Jesus' name. Amen.